that's what it looks like. Chase Center. Hey, the Warriors are there. They don't get used to it. They go back on the road to play the Lakers of Portland this week. But they get the Jazz tonight and then the Jazz next Sunday. Backdoor cut. Open corner three and knocked down by Hendricks. That's all it takes. You, you had it right where you wanted it. You get a backdoor cut, and that gets him into the paint. Pajemski and Chris Jackson Davis, speaking of youngsters, were very happy with their draft. Dante George hitting a three. And so, when does getting off to a good start take a back seat? Pajemski with the shot clock at seven. And Brandon making something out of nothing. You know, when he, was, he went to 19th, they were like, well, is he quick enough? Can he do this? Can he do that? Every scout was wrong. The jet ski is a three. Alan Sexton, the offense runs through him with so many Jazz members not playing, and he has the big kind of bicep show off after that lay-in. Ray Thompson hitting the three. Draymond with a boot of screen there. Play show and go. There's the line. Wow! Trace Carter with the offhand hung in the air. And spiked it home. Oh, deep three. Yes, sir. Clay Thompson. And that was from beyond the hands. Draymond three. Off Clay Thompson. There's Kaminga coming from the weak side. And if you come in the game by way of defense, see if you can get a block and a deflection like you just did. Play reload. Another three. He's got that look in his eyes. Utah playing almost all their youngsters. In the last couple of weeks, Keontae George floats that home. Jazang with a step back three. And so Johnny Jazang, two years at UCLA, was undrafted, signed a two-way deal in July. Working without the ball, Clay Thompson and Draymond. Chris Paul has had to do hardly anything so far. Kind of staying out of the way is Kaminga. Welcome back. He can shoot it. Zhang hits two threes, and those were both look very smooth. Kaminga all the way down the lane to put it up and in. He'll draw the foul and head into the stands. Spotted shooters here, and it's the same one. Johnny Juzang for three for three on threes. Moody with a corner three. Warriors are one and five. The six-game step is missed. Juzang, see, get him off the three-point line. Santos set up Kaminga on the baseline. Prettiest pass of the night. Looking like Zaza Pachulia, Andrew Bogut. Wow, three seconds. Don't leave that guy. He's hanging out for three. Final three seconds. Pajemski. A running three off one foot. Come on, Pods. They don't even smile. Kaminga on the fadeaway. You, you have to do that. Coaches are like, all right, young guys. Like, the, the Warriors need this win. They're coaching hard. And Sexton flips it in and draws the foul. There, there's a lot of cutting action there. Oh. I keep waiting for you, Zach, to miss a three. So they had two guys <laughs> close out to him there. And he's he's still five of five on three. He's unbothered. How about that pass from GP2 back to Kavon? And he will flip it up and in. I don't know how GP2 flipped that one back. The way the West is, Utah and Portland they have some work to do. San Antonio's on the rise. Clay Thompson's on the rise. He got 15. Clock and 12. Clay is like, I am very hot. And so I'm going to keep looking for my shot. And he's 6 of 9. He gets in these modes. And that's when you see the 37 and a quarter. Clay Thompson again. Oh, my goodness. His teammates on the bench are going, keep going, Clay. EP2 back out to Chris Paul. Oh, drops in a three. Think about his ability to hit the mid-range jumper, get to the rim with that uh, big body of his. Oh, Kaminga. He just rose up and then softly laid that in. He doesn't look like he's confused about what he's supposed to do. Clay doesn't look confused. Clay Thompson. I mean, there are flamethrowers, and then there is evacuate the building. Raymond setting up Clay. What a nifty reverse layup. Oh, okay. 25 in the first half. You played Jazang outside in, and so he kept curling and got the layup. You try to finish this half strong. You got to expect him to make a push. Now Jazang's got 20. I mean, Clay's got 25, and we're having fun with that. Jansky step back. 
up to me as he's seven of eight on threes. A lot of time left in this game. Utah continues to keep playing. Chris Paul keeping him in bed. You do not commit a foul on Utah in the bonus for an extended period of time here. Living in the line. Deontay George here's that home. Okay, he's rolling now. Shot clock at 12. Brandon Lobb. Kaminga! Finish that one. 14 at the half, up 14 right now, so they continue to throw the ball away. Steve Kerr not happy with that at all. Kyle Lewis plays it up and in, and Steve going to take a timeout. They have the lead, and it's let's get shots up, and then let's defend on the other end and defend without fouling. Moody to the baseline. Strong move and finish. A little deceleration there, but he made sure he got into his defender's body. Sends the ball from the elbow. Right, Sensabaugh hitting there. Chris Paul slipping to GP2. If you lose him, where's he going to be? Around the basket. In the NBA, they're too quick. The, the jumpers are too fluid. And that one. Chris Paul dropping in the three. The Santa Cruz Warriors, as was Pat Spencer and Key Santos, they were eliminated finally in the playoffs. Yes. Deontay George hits from the corner. Well, I, I, great coach. And I love her speech. It was Deontay George still working here. Nicholas Kerr did a great job with the Santa Cruz Warriors this year. He did. Because there was a lot of up and down. And you see Guy Santos come up and play. Close out by Pat Spencer, but Baisley hammering that home. Sensabaugh. So credit the Jazz in their effort. Credit the Warriors and the win. The lead was as high as 23. 32 from Clay Thompson. Tremendous game from Kaminga. 21, 10, and 4. The Warriors put five players in double figures, shooting at 53%.